Hello, Infinity Kingdom audience. Hope you're having an awesome day, evening, or whatever time you're watching this video. I'm glad you're here. Glad you clicked on this video. And I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. And I would love it if you hit the like button. And let's get into it. So, I want to talk about free to play. And how do you grow free to play late game? How do you grow free to play late game after 1.9? Now that they have 45 and 50, and you see everyone growing around you, and you feel like you're falling behind. So, I want to talk about, and I'm not free to play, but I feel like I'm falling behind. And I'm falling in some of these traps, and I want to give you tips to make sure you don't follow, uh, fall in these traps and you stay focused on what is important to grow your marches as quickly as possible and still remain competitive. So let's get into it. So let's take a look at my troops right now. So this is my strongest setup right now and it gives me 220, uh, 22K in power. Now if I throw Yoshi in there, Yoshi's is not at 43 uh, 44 experience level and so it comes in at 219 K a little bit behind so kind of want to talk about you know what are ways to grow and grow as quickly as you can without spending any money at all so what you got to do is really take advantage of everything that you can event wise and what you already have and built up you're gonna have to make some hard decisions so being a free-to-play you really cannot focus on all your marches you're not gonna be that person that's gonna have a strong first March and a really strong second March unfortunately to focus that way you have to be you know, pay to win. You have to spend money to get really strong first March and second March. Now, I'm a somewhat pay to, pay to win. I do pay. Um, I don't pay a ton. And so I'm able to have somewhat of a strong second March. That not, is not completely. But you really, you really have to make some sacrifices and choices and say, okay, what is my main March going to be? And how am I going to focus on that? And so with that, you really need to, let's go in here. Like I'm going to sacrifice an immortal right now. Let's go into my troops. And I am going to sacrifice Ashoka. Ashoka is going to be sacrificed. Now, if you make the wrong decision, as long as you don't give away their fragments, you can always change your mind later on. So don't be too afraid to sacrifice someone. So now I'm going to go to the Alchemy Mount Lab. And let's go ahead and refine what I got. And go into Immortal Reborn. And I am going to reborn Ashoka. Ashoka, you're gone. And the main reason that you want to sacrifice is mainly for level up experience and maybe uh, well of time stuff. So let's go in here now and let's take a look at my immortals now that I've made a sacrifice. So this is my main march that I'm going to be focusing on and I'm also going to talk a little bit about how to focus on a main march in another video and how to focus on on you know a second march also but right now for this video i'm just mainly focusing on growing and how to focus on your main march and growing that so i just made a sacrifice and now i have the ability to level up <laughs> So right here, I have 2,406. 
so I could start working on leveling these up because let's do a uh, let's view at the details how much am I taking 518 so level up Boop. level up and for this example I know I could uh, gain more power but I'm also focusing on Yoshi and I want to go ahead and level up. Normally, I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, we're free to play. And we're going to do Merlin. I always like leveling up Merlin. How am I doing here? Level up. We're going to do Hippolyta. Level up. And we're going to do Dito. I can level her. Ah, I'm not going to make it. Are you serious? I'm going to be short? I'm going to be short by a little bit. All right, well, we'll level up Dito soon. So the unfortunate thing, when you reborn a high-level character... I got four days, five days to wait till I can reborn again. So let's just take a look at with that right there. I gained about, let's make sure I'm refilled all the way. I gained about, what was I at? I was at 22. Okay, so I gained about 1,000K in power. So that's a sacrifice that I made there with the unit and I'll throw them back in and I'll start leveling them up to probably level 30 and so I could still have my troops be somewhat strong. So you need to do that. Other things that you need to do, you got to continue focusing on artifacts and growing your artifacts. Don't lose focus of that. Have your forge working at all times. Now my forge I'm never making gold on my forge because I'm too busy making artifacts. And so when you have a real good artifact that can be developed, don't forget to continue developing it. So right now, like I got four items. I want to use that one. I could do one, two, three, four. Boom. I could develop up to the next level. Um, my other... Hippolyta, I'm not going to develop her because I almost have her special artifact, so I'm going to hold off on developing her. Uh, Remesis, I got the special artifact, so um, I'm going to mainly focus on developing Merlin's artifact. So we're going to go. And we're going to develop. Boom, boom. How do I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see what, what, what. What artifact did I get? I'm trying to get the, a better art artifact. Which one's not being used? So this one, let's compare. Magical defense bonus, resilience, resilient rate. So, no, not a very good one right now. Not going to do any swapping out. So I can definitely use that. All right, let's go to develop. The world calls me Kingmaker. Boop, 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 boop. And we are developing. And then also with developing, you also want to upgrade your artifacts. So, and continue to upgrade. I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the point that that will go ahead and upgrade. So don't forget about your artifacts. Do not ignore them. The other thing is make sure you're doing your well of time and continue mo moving further. Again, this is an area that I haven't been focused on. I've just been doing kind of the farming and the quick grabs. Uh, so <clears throat> continue on because that's where you get those really big drops. When like 14.5... That's where I'm going to get all these big drops. And so you want to continue moving up on the Well of Time. 
also with free to play, and I know it's a grind, um, but make sure you do your Mysterium. And your Mysterium gives you so much. I mean, I'm just starting it right now, but the way it gives you is not only does it give you stuff for the artifacts, not only does it give you gold. Uh, and when I finish a full set of Mysterium, I, I generally get two and a half million in gold. So that's two and a half million get gold that I can get every every two days. But much more or just as important is you get the epic fragments that you can recycle. You could go through there and you get not a ton, but you get enough to make a difference to really help rank up or level up your purple stones as quickly as possible as get as many as you quickly can. So don't forget the Mysterium. I know it's a grind. If you take away the grind, to take away the grind, you remember it's two days, so you don't have to finish it all in one day. You could do part of it, okay. I'm gonna do a little part of it. I'm gonna come back to it another day. So the other thing is don't forget your bosses. Don't forget your boxes and continue focusing on one dragon. If you're free to play, you cannot focus on all the dragons. And so you got to focus on that main dragon for your mar march. So I'm going to pretend and let's just say I'm uh, free to play. You know, all these, all these immortals right here, if I look at them, they're all level 40. And so I have all this if I wanted to, I could sacrifice and I could start leveling these up. Uh, you know, pretty quickly and probably if I sacrifice all, all of them over time, I could probably get up to level, level 50 or pretty close to it, if not level 50 itself. So yes, that's gonna make a, a weaker second march Definitely will do that, but that's basically it's coming down to it uh, right now. If you want to do some competition, is you got to really start growing that first march. The other thing is don't forget all your variety of shops. Now your throne of supreme, you know. Every battle that you do there in the throne of supreme in the first stage. You know, you earn, what did I just do there? You earn 30 gems. So that is 10 fights that you could do. That's 300 gems a day. Uh, that definitely adds up. Give me my gems. Give me my gems. There you go. And then don't forget all the variety of shops. And take advantage of wherever you can get philosopher stones, wherever you can get fragments. Take advantage, even if they're just, you know, you're just getting them for recycle. So you got the arena. Look at the arena here. Go into the shop. So I got 23k, and just right here, let's just say with 23k. You know, I'm at. 117 Richards so boom 117 Richards there you go got 117 reach Richards and I could go in the alchemy mat lab let's recycle what do I get for 117 Richards here we go got almost 10,000 right there don't forget the lion shot You could buy your fragments in there. Don't forget that. So don't forget all the variety of shops that you can go. Don't forget in here. The contention of relics, if it's your stage. You know, get everything that you can. Uh, Legion of Frostborn, Throne of Supreme, all that stuff. Do not forget to make investments in those areas and, and spend those coins. So, and 
don't forget. Uh, what did I cover? Okay, the arena, dragon. Now, dragon, your biggest power growth is focusing on your skills and not so much focusing on level leveling up the dragon. So try to focus on skills more uh, than leveling up the dragon because it gets very expensive gold-wise. Uh, you're much better off spending your gold on your development uh, with your immortals than ra rather your dra dragon. And don't forget to use as many market refreshes as you can and buy as much as you can with purple stones and then recycle as much as you can or gems, whatever. Um, don't forget your market refreshes. And then also event-wise, sorry, I almost forgot this. Focus on events that can really uh, give you some good prizes. You know, King in the Hill is a good event because each day basically gives you a Philosopher's Stone. So basically you have, you know, five days of opportunities of giving Philosopher's Stones. That's an always good event. Uh, the Wonderful Journey, saving your gems for a wonderful journey and then spending it during the wonderful journey to get extra stuff and maybe get a special artifact. That is a good time as free to play uh, event. Uh, Battle of Steria is a great free to play event. So you can get uh, items for your artifacts. Um, you know, Expel Gnomes, that's nice. You get some stuff, you know, and stuff like that. But the ones, the multi-day events like Gnome Hunts, those are good. You want to really try to focus on, if you're limited on time and so on, make sure you focus on uh, some of the bigger multi-day events. And then uh, last but certainly not least, you got to constantly send out your troops to re uh, gather resources. And don't be afraid to use boosts, you know, so you can get more stuff in. And don't be afraid to use your talents to get more stuff on, on your resources. You know, enchanted stones, hitting gnomes, and, and stuff like that. Yes, over time, you gain level and you can level up. Yes, you get enchanted stones to level up your gear. Uh, but that is takes so much time. Also, you really need to focus on uh, the Tantula event at Free to Play. Make sure you do the Tantula event to really get bang for your buck on Enchanted Stones and leveling up your gear. So I hope that gives you some tips on what to focus on if you're a Free to Play and how to grow. And that's uh, it. Hit the, and I'm probably missed something, you know, who knows? I try to cover everything, but uh, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. Definitely more videos coming out, and you have an awesome day.